A year ago, Casey Harrell couldn't talk beyond grunts. His own daughter couldn't remember hearing him speak normally. That's because he has a disease called ALS which destroys nerve cells. The disease cuts off communication between the brain and muscles, including speech muscles. In May, I went to visit Casey. He lives in Oakland, California with his family. Now he can talk again, thanks to a brain device he got. Researchers from the University of California, Davis, surgically implanted it under his skull last year. Not being able to communicate is so frustrating and demoralizing. It is like you are trapped. The device works by recording brain signals in Casey's motor cortex. Those signals are trying to send commands to his speech muscles, like the ones in his tongue and throat. In essence, what we're doing is we're bypassing the injury. We are recording kind of from the source, from this part of the brain that's trying to send these commands to the muscles. And we're basically listening into that. The words appear on a computer screen, and then speakers play the words in Casey's natural voice. That's thanks to the magic of artificial intelligence we were able to digitally reconstruct his voice. So now when he tries to speak, not only do words appear on the screen, but it sounds like him. I could talk with Casey just like anyone else. He told me about comforting his daughter when she gets upset and what it's like when friends come to visit. He loves his brain implant and he wants other patients to get that same experience.